how are you doing today? Uh, we're going to see if I can do this upside down. Okay? We're going to see. Can you see this wrong? Okay. John? Now listen, I am not an artist. I have no artistic uh, talents at all. How's that, Melvin? Okay, so all I'm going to do is just draw a couple of lines. Okay? I think I can do that. We're going to do it upside down. But let me ask you a question first. How old are you? How old are you? Three? Bella, I actually need your age as well. How old are you? Um, uh -huh. How old are you? I need you to come up here because this is, uh, you're very important to this story. <laughs> The Bible says in Genesis 1, verse 1, what? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, okay? God created the heavens and the earth. God, this is the earth. Okay, so now, each one of you have been given a life, is that right? So that life is a timeline. Starts, and if Jesus doesn't come, it will end, is that right? All of you that are here, is this true? Yes. You're born, and if Jesus doesn't come, what's going to happen to you? You guys need to realize that that is a part of life. Okay? Now, this is how you start life. Right here. You're a baby, right? How much can you do as a baby? Cry, and that's all you can do. Because whatever you want, the only way you can express it is by crying. Correct? So... You start off in that stage of total dependence on your parents. Is that correct? So James, how old are you? So we'll put 11 right there. Okay? 11 right there. Now I want you to notice is that this line that represents God, it intersects your timeline. Right? Well... I have to do this on a flat piece of paper, so bear with me, but what you need to realize is does God's line touch your line? Okay, now what you need to remember is God will touch your life from beginning all the way to the end. So God's line moves with you all the way through. I want to share this with you because of your age, it's really important for Bella, for you, to understand because once you get their age, I'm going to show you something that's really important and I hope you grasp this because it's going to be with you for the rest of your lives. Okay? So James at 11, right here. Okay? And uh, how old are you? You? Right there? 10. 10. So you're right there. And Brianna, how old are you? Okay, so. You're no longer babies, right? Nor do you need everything done for you. So you're starting to get to that point where you're able to start making decisions for yourself, right? But still, you still need your parents for almost everything that you need and have. Is that correct? That's your first 10, 11 years of life, okay? Now, Bella, how old are you? You're 13. We're going to put you right here. Uh, excuse me. Uh, and this is this is not this is not a, a, an accurate or a two scale. Okay? <laughs> Just go with me, okay? Listen to what I'm saying. Oh, I'm old. I'm way over here. <laughs> How are you? Okay. So you and Bella are like right here. Now, James, do you think there's a difference between? Your age and her age? Is there a difference with what you learn in school? Is there a difference in the decisions you make every day? Okay? When you get to your age, and Bella, your age, right here, like I said, this is not accurate. This is not half your lives, okay? Just bear with me, all right? But at your age, you got a lot of life left. Let's say that here is 80 years old. It's average, okay? 80 years old. Now, if you were like Bob, you'd be almost 100. Mm -hmm. But from right here to right here, that's a long time to go, right? From where James is at, 
to your age is not that long a period of time. Is that correct? What I want you to understand is that all the decisions you're going to make from like 12 to 16, how many years is that? Say it loud so they can hear. Four. You know why you said it and I didn't? Because I'd have to count on my fingers. <laughs> so how many years is that? Four. In this short four year period, the decisions you make is going to determine the rest of your life. You guys understand that, right? You adults. What I'm saying, is this true or is this false? You guys need to understand this. This is very important. So this story is not a regular story. I want you to understand this and grasp this. Because when you leave here, this is going to go with you. The choices you make are going to go with you for the rest of your lives. Okay? <laughs> if you like the drawing, yeah. So this so from here to you, you, and you, and you, and you, okay, like I said, you're right about to enter this circle here where the decisions you start to make is going to follow you the rest of your life. Now I'm going to tell you a story. There's two people, okay, they came from here and they got to this point. This person here listen to their mom and dad. Their mom and dad tried to explain to them that school was very important. Okay? This person here understood that what their parents said actually meant a lot, and usually what they said was true. So they listened. They realized that school was important. So they went to school, and they went there for the specific purpose of learning. This person down here, this was my brother. This was me. This person down here didn't really listen to their parents, and when they went to school, they went to school so that they could hang out with their friends, okay? And everything was great from here until we got to this circle part here. And these two brothers who now decided to go on two different paths from this point. This one made school priority, listened, learned, got an education, and as he moved through these years with all the rough and rocky time to come, came out the other side, realizing that education is important and that making good choices is very important. And so the choices he made helped him now to get past this point, move on and get to college, go on to college, have a family, be able to support that family, be able to train those kids to make good and proper decisions. And so from here all the way to where he's at right now, and he's two years older than me, now I want you to look at this. Because this is about to scale. You guys are here. This is the end of your life. Look at how much time you have from here to here. This is where I'm at. And this is where, if Jesus doesn't come, what's going to happen? I don't have that much time left, do I? Okay? That's life, right? That is life. The choices that my brother made has determined how well his life has been for a long period of time and where it's going to go for the last part of your life. Those of you who are elderly, and uh, you're facing this now, can you go back and change the decisions you made? No. no. no? So you're stuck where you're at, is that right? Mm -hmm. Sorry for the bad English, but it <coughs> is what it is. You guys need to learn this. This knucklehead here, <laughs> Everything was great. Everything was great. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Getting to this point. Started to make bad choices, number one, by friends. Okay? And so the friends that I started to have started to draw me away from my family. Started to draw me into a lifestyle that would affect the rest of my life. Started to make me make choices that I would regret even to this age today. Okay? In just a short period of time, by the time I came towards the end here, I had a, had a juvenile record that one more offense would no longer be a juvenile offense, it would then be an adult offense, and everything I did in my juvenile would come to lighten that, okay? If I made better choices, 
everything I did as a juvenile would be sealed. Okay? So I made one more <laughs> and it was at that time that I actually really started praying to God because I was looking at being in a lot of trouble. And as I said, you need to realize that wherever you're at, this line I represent God, He's there and He touches your life. The choices you make will either draw you closer to Him or draw you away from Him. What you need to realize is God never moves. It is you that either draws closer to Him or moves away from Him. The choices you make is going to determine that. And when I was in a really bad place and needed a lot of help, I cried out to God, and God heard me. And God actually touched the heart and the mind of the judge, and He sealed my record. But He told me, you only do this once. You get in trouble again, you're on your own, and all this will come out. So, I still had a lot of life left. Okay? I realized that the friends that I had were drawing me away from God. Okay? And as I got past this age, I started to look at my brother, look at my other friends that stayed in school, that made proper choices, who actually had their life on the right path. They made good choices, they had careers in front of them. You know what I had? <laughs> You're a smart kid. Okay? That's what I was looking at. I was one of those people where my friends liked me. I was funny to be around. I could tell great stories. But their parents were telling them, don't be like him. Don't grow up to be like him because you know what his was going to happen. And they were correcting that. Okay? But listen, by the time I got to 20, I realized that I wasn't making my God happy, I wasn't making my mother happy, and I wanted to change. And like I said, God was with me all through all of this. And when I cried out to Him, and when I asked Him to save me from myself and from my sins, He took me, and He cleaned me up. And let me tell you something, that took a lot. But He did this. And God brought me to the opportunity to come into a church. And it was the Delta on the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And from that place, I learned the gospel. I learned who Jesus Christ was. I learned that He loved me no matter what I did in the past. But I also realized that through Christ, I needed to make a lot better choices. And God was able to take me. And I should have been way down here. And what God did is from this point in my life to draw him close to him through being faithful to what his work said, God was able to change all this that happened in the past. And God was able to bring me up, bring me up, bring me up, bring me up to where I am now towards the end of my life. And God has opened doors for me that would never have been opened before. Yes. No, he goes to the Christian Missionary Alliance, but it was my brother who helped me actually become who I am today and where I am today. Okay? So listen, he is, I'm 55, he's going to, he's going to be 58. Okay? So when you see this, realize you're here. You're here already. The decisions you're going to make in the next four years is going to decide what the rest of your life is going to be. You guys are going to come to that really soon. Decisions you make are going to decide where your life's going to be. Okay? So always keep your eyes and your heart focused on Jesus. Realize He's with you wherever you go, whatever you do, and make good choices. Alright? Do that? Alright, go back to your seat. Everybody's going to have a call. Are you dying? Really?